This guide shows you how to get your Windows 7 style start menu back in Windows 10. So you've managed to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or you've bought a new PC and it comes with Windows 10 but you just don't like the start menu that it comes with. You prefer your old start menu. Well thankfully Classic Shell have made a program which restores the start menu back. Now it's not new by any means, it's been around for a number of years. So first of all we need to open up Microsoft Edge. Now we can do that by clicking on the start button in the start menu and finding Microsoft Edge there or we can find Microsoft Edge normally along beside the start button somewhere in the taskbar. Either way, doesn't matter, open up Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge opens up and we have at the top of the screen here the toolbar or the address bar should I say. So click to the right of whatever's in the address bar. It should then all highlight in blue. Press the delete key on the keyboard and we type in here classic shell.net that's classic shell.net then we press enter or return on the keyboard the classic shell website now opens we left click once on the download now button just down here it then asks us um, what version do we want to uh, to, uh, to download. Now in the case of mine it's already started downloading and uh, there you go it says classic shell 425.exe finish downloading. Now if it hasn't started downloading automatically then left click on the language of the toolbar that you want. Obviously if you're watching this in English you'll probably want the English version but uh, as I say mine's already started downloading yours will probably do the same. OK then, so next thing we need to do is we need to click Run. So we click Run down here. OK, it comes up, Welcome to the Classic Shell Setup Wizard. So we click Next. We click the box next to I accept the terms of the, in the license agreement. By the way, when I say click, I always mean left click unless um, otherwise stated it's a, a left click then we click next okay now normally here I would just use the classic start menu so here I'm going to click on the arrow next to classic explorer and then click entire feature will be unavailable again I'll do the same I'll click the arrow next to classic IE and then click entire feature with will be unavailable and classic shell update is okay to leave that because that will automatically update the menu if Microsoft try and block it or they bring out new features but uh, again it's up to you I'd, I'd recommend leaving it um, alone so we left click next and then we click install the screen darkens and it says here, do you want to allow this app to install software on your PC? We'll make sure the program name is Classic Shell and make sure the verified publisher is this here. Um, file origin hard drive on this computer, so make sure this matches. If it all matches OK, then click next, uh, click yes, sorry. If it doesn't match, then click no and uh, start the guide again. So it all matches, so we just click yes there. OK, it's now carrying on installing. I'm going to untick this box here so I'm going to left click in the box next to view readme file and then I'm going to click finish. Now we can close down edge so I'm just going to click the cross at the top of the edge window to close it down. It will say do you want to close all tabs. Yours might not if you've only got the one tab open. If this does I just click close all and we're back to the desktop. So now I'm going to move my mouse down to the start button and left click once on the start button and up comes the menu settings. So I'm going to use the Windows 7 style or we can use classic style or we can use classic with two columns. So I'm just going to click left click Windows 7 style. OK, and um, the start button, it gives us an option to replace the start button, but I'll leave the start button 
as is so uh, we just click OK. So now when I click on the start button as you'll see there's a Windows 7 style start button. It does look slightly different but it looks more in tune with what Windows 7 did. And that's it. That's how to get back your Windows 7 start menu in Windows 10.